Welcome to our series of BinSense installation videos. In this video, we'll look at how to set up a bin with BinSense Solo. BinSense Solo is a simple grain bin monitoring system that reads one bin with up to four sensing cables and a maximum of 48 sensors total. Solo connects directly to a nearby cell tower once daily to send grain conditions to the BinSense website and mobile app. Installing Solo is quick and easy. Start by adding the Solo unit to a bin. On the mobile app sitemap, tap the Edit button and add a new bin to the site. For the monitoring device, choose Solo and tap the camera button to scan the barcode on the Solo unit with the camera on your mobile device. The next step is to install the Solo unit on the bin. On new BinSense installations, we recommend installing Solo on the roof of the bin near the sensing cables to minimize the number of sensing cables required. When retrofitting Solo onto a bin previously monitored with BinSense Direct, we recommend installing the Solo unit at the bottom of the bin connected to the existing ground-level direct link cable connection. This eliminates the need to climb the bin during installation. Place the Solo unit on the bin with the antenna fin end of the enclosure closest to the ground. The sensor link cable should point towards the ground to prevent water from running towards the enclosure. The magnetic feet will hold the unit in place on the bin. Connect the sensor link cable from the solo unit to the sensing cables installed in the bin. A terminal box or splitter is required to connect more than one sensing cable. Remember that solo can read a maximum of four cables with a total of up to 48 sensors. Next, open the solo unit and remove the tabs from the battery compartment. Note that some solo units have two battery clips inside and two tabs that need to be removed. Once the battery tabs are removed, Solo will connect to the BinSense app and website right away to let you know everything is connected and working properly. Keep an eye on the status LED and verify it briefly turns solid green to confirm the Solo unit is connected to a cell tower and the BinSense servers. Once the status LED turns off, put the cover back on the Solo unit and make sure all four latch clips are securely closed. Finally, check the BinSense app to confirm that the Solo unit is working properly and reading all the cables in the bin. Solo will automatically read the cables each day late in the afternoon and send the readings to the app overnight, so you'll get new details on your bins each morning. For more information and to access our user manuals, visit our website at binsense.com support.